Uh, what do you think about this pickup for the Giants? Well, hearing Wink Martindale talk, you mentioned Isaiah Simmons being versatile. Yeah. I think that might be a little bit of a flawed thing for him. Right. To he, his detriment. Correct. Yeah. Because what are you really good at? And that's where Wink's got to find something with Isaiah Simmons. And I think his point of positionless is a little bit more hopeful for them. Yeah. And to hear him say, well, we want to get pressure on the quarterback, that's all this is for me is going to be about. Is going to be okay, – third labeling him as a linebacker. He's going to be, I would imagine, a rush guy. Yeah. And it's – Hearing him say selfless, it's twofold. One, this is a defensive line that is Kayvon Thibodeau and Leonard Williams and Dexter Lawrence. So can he eat up a body or two to create one-on-ones for those guys? Or can those guys eat up a body or two to create one-on-ones in pass rush situations on lesser players for Isaiah Simmons? If that's the case, then I think if he can make it somewhere, it's going to be under Wink Martindale in this type of attacking system. You know what? And if the Giants get nothing out of Isaiah Simmons, it was a moderate cost. A seventh-round pick for a guy who has just a $1.01 million salary for this season. Uh, Kimberly, not the only trade for the Arizona Cardinals today as they have been busy. What else was GM Monty Austinfort up to? Yeah, they also traded an offensive lineman to the Texans. Now, here's the question, and Josh Jones. Now, here's the question that I have for you guys. The timing of everything. I think when you look at the Arizona Cardinals and why these moves now, this is an organization that has a new head coach, a new GM. This is a new front office for this team, a team that many wonder how good are they going to be, a team that many speculate, are they trying to move up in the draft next year? Well, this is a team that inherit. This is a front office that inherited Kyler Murray. There's going to be a lot of speculation because we talked, we heard Dan and we heard Coach talk about how great Isaiah Simmons can be with the Giants. If these guys are such good players, why would you want to give them up a week mm. before the season starts? Well, I, That's the, that, they're giving a lot of reason for chatter out there. Well, I, I think that the Kyler Murray situation, that's a problem for another day. For now, I think the Cardinals mm-hmm. are focused on let's get as many assets as we possibly can and look towards 2024 and beyond. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.